Good day, everyone. This is Vegas Live TV's Home Sweet Home, Las Vegas' premier lifestyle and entertainment magazine on TV, bringing to you the best of the entertainment capital of the world right here in our VA TV studio and event center located at the Hacienda Crossing on South Arville, Las Vegas, Nevada. Featuring the hottest joints, diverse local events, and mouthwatering cuisine from all over the world. Also keeping you updated on trends in local real estate and business. Vegas Life's TV's Home Sweet Home is your ultimate guide to what matters in Vegas. On our second episode and already we're hitting the ground running. Along with our branded segments from Global News, we've included a host of new content we're sure you guys will love. Each week we have our own Mark and Melody who are seasoned realtors as well as consultants and business owners hosting the real estate and business segment. Following after is the lifestyle segment with Ms. Shannon Yang featuring exclusive interviews, yes, <laughs> with renowned players in the Las Vegas community and also checking out the local flavor and events going on around town. Explore what Vegas life is all about. Mm -hmm. We are privileged to have esteemed Hollywood fashion designer David Tupaz tune in to his segment the essence of style and discover world of fashion in the ever-growing industry right here in Vegas. And with spring in full swing, be sure to watch The Essence of Beauty by Simply Fairlane, our very own hair and makeup artist, for tips on fabulous looks this season. She's great. Sports fans, we didn't forget about you. For all your sports news, coming up later is this week's sports editorial from Gaming Today's News, You Can Bet On. We are thrilled to be joined by segment Immigration Matters with attorney Visha Calderon, California licensee, but now a Vegas resident and practitioner. Immigration lawyer Visha Calderon answers questions raised by our viewers only here on Vegas Live TV's home sweet home. And at work or at play, the city of Las Vegas never sleeps. And we are proud to showcase to our global audience all the fun and excitement happening here at our home. Coming up next is a business and real estate feature by Mark and Melody. You're watching Vegas Live TV's Home Sweet Home. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Welcome to the real estate and business feature of Home Sweet Home, the banner program of Vegas Live TV. I'm Melody Mojica and I'm enjoying our set at the VA TV Studio and Events Center. And I'm Mark Bowman. If you guys recall, a few episodes ago, we were under the Global News brand. With Global News being relaunched in association with a major news organization, Home Sweet Home is now the banner program of Vegas Life TV. With that said, here's an interview we had a few weeks ago with Michael Gasta, CEO of America's Guest. We have today with us uh, Michael Gasta, whose company is America's Guest, and something tells me you're probably in the hospitality business. <laughs> welcome. Thank you so much, Mark. <laughs> it's nice you. to be here. Thanks, Molly. Thank you you're so very much. You're welcome. I appreciate the opportunity. Yes, America's Guest. Let's start with a little, sh little short story. Las Vegas for uh, 32 years, a 38-year hospitality veteran, and, and I used to be a hotel guy. and we would entertain each other. We had what was called the power of the pen. And one night it was my turn to host, and I had several hotel executives um, from various properties in Las Vegas, and we went out, and I never let them, as we call it here, reach. Nobody could spend a dime, nobody could spend a dollar, and at the end of the night, one of the gentlemen got out of the car and he goes, I really felt like America's guest tonight. Oh. And Following my hotel career and opening my own business, this is where I came up with the name and decided to uh, to work off that. It's a great name. Great name. Yeah, <laughs> definitely great name. So tell us, um, aside from coming up with a great name for the business, how did you get involved in it? Give us a little bit about your background. Well, as I mentioned, I'm 38 years in the industry and I have uh, been in Las Vegas for 32. Uh, another statistic that I use when industry people ask me how long I've been around, uh, rather than say 32 years, I say, uh, well, I arrived here 100,000 rooms ago. <laughs> there, you go. there were 50,000 rooms in 1982 wow. when I arrived in Las Vegas, and now we're over at a, over 150,000 rooms, as, as, as you know. It's amazing. It's yeah. amazing that cities have, have grown so much. So that's the industry you got into. 
I was with Hilton for 25 years. They moved me to Las Vegas from uh, Los Angeles, and uh, I spent uh, 20 years with them here, and uh, eventually moved into my own event planning company when the company was sold. Okay. So I basically have a 360 degree view of this destination from a seller standpoint uh, and now a buyer standpoint. And just to share with you, I mean, I am a non-casino guy. Okay. I'm a rooms uh, group incentive tour meeting company guy that fills the bulk of this hotel occupancy okay. in addition to the leisure market. Okay, so you basically set up, I don't know if trips are the right word, but um, visits to Las Vegas and assist groups? I assist groups that are coming to Las Vegas from 20 rooms and larger that need accommodations, need special event activity, need uh, dinner uh, reservations, need show tickets, need tours, uh, need a party decorated, need entertainment. I, am, I become their host, almost a concierge-like yes. yes. atmosphere, a business model, but for groups. Unfortunately, this business in this city uh, it has a tremendous amount of moving parts. Mm -hmm. And with that, there's always issues because there's always change. And when the buyer finally selects, pre-selects their activities in their hotel, and we get through that negotiation and we move forward with the plan, there's constant change. My coordinator, uh, partner slash meeting planner that I'm working with is boss, decides to change dinner from this restaurant to that restaurant, or let's go to that show now instead of this show. So those types of activities we just have to get used to and we just kind of have to preconceive uh, the possibility of that happening. So Michael, tell our guests and our audience out there how they can get a hold of you. Oh, thanks so much. Yes, it's very simple, americasguest.net and the number of the company is 702-933-5200. We look forward to hearing from you. Take a look at the website. I've got a little Sinatra music for you. <laughs> very good. Very Vegas. Very Thank you very Vegas. much for being with <laughs> us Thanks today. for having me. Mike? You're very, Thank very you. welcome. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this edition of Home Sweet Home. I'm Melody Mojica. And I'm Mark Bowman. Stay tuned. Lifestyles with Shannon Yang is up next. <laughs>
Oh, we had a long list of uh, attendees there. We had our inductees, Evander Holyfield, um, Boza Edwards. We had invited guests that include Floyd Mayweather Jr. We had Sugar Shane Mosley, Zab Judah. We had tons of fighters that I can honestly say that supported the event. The list could wow. go on and on. <laughs> wow. And what can one expect when they go to an event like this, like autograph or in pictures or? Yes, actually we had fighters that were taking pictures with the fans, mingling, um, autograph, pretty much whatever you ask. We also had a raffle to where we had tons of wonderful memorabilia that was autographed by several of our inductees, past and present, as well as some of the celebrity guests that I mentioned. Um, it was just a really good appreciation for the fans, and that's what the Hall of Fame events are all about. It's just about getting in there, mingling. You see these guys in the ring, you see them fighting and punching each other out, and now it's time to see them get along and, and meet you and thank you for your support. Right, to meet the real person. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's yes. cool. And what does it take to be on the Hall of Fame? To be in the Hall of Fame, uh, it takes some legendary fights. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes some, or some actual... Um, we have referees, we also have other boxing supported, you know, media, so several different um, attributes that can get you inducted into the Hall of Fame, which there is an actual induction process where board members vote and past inductees vote as well. So the criteria is actually on our website at the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame, and if you want any additional information, you can definitely look at that. But one of the big things are, is the fighters must not have fought for at least five years. Oh, wow. Yes. And when is going to be the next event? The next Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame event is scheduled for August the 9th. That's our actual induction dinner, our, our huge gala that we like to have everyone come out. However, there is a wonderful event tonight for boxing fans in the community, and that's a TMT. It's a Floyd Mayweather promotion card that will be held tonight at the Hard Rock, as well mm. as Floyd's fighting uh, Saturday night himself. So that would be great boxing fan events that I just invite everyone in the boxing world to come out. And again, uh, once again, what is the website they can find out more? The Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame is nvbhof.com, and they can go there and get all of the information about our upcoming event as far as our gala. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you very much, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you for it's having me. It's very nice having you here. Thank you so much. Don't go away. Vegas Live TV Home Sweet Home will be right back after the commercial. Hello, this is David Tapaz and welcome to Essence of Style. Today I'm going to show you Los Angeles Fashion Week as I'm fortunate enough to represent Las Vegas in the major fashion weeks in the country. I hope you enjoy the show.
I hope you enjoyed that segment. There will be more uh, here in Las Vegas. We're hoping that we're going to establish the first Las Vegas Fashion Week by the end of the year. Thank you. This is David Chapaz, Essence of Style. Cosmetics headquarters. Uh, we are having a makeup class, Makeup 101. It's a two day, and today is our second day. So here I am with my model, uh, with our model, Christina Jacobs, and a makeup artist, uh, Amanda Nicolopoulos. So, Amanda, um, I see this is an amazing, really, really gorgeous look. Um, tell me about the concept and what kind of makeup look are you doing on our model today? Thank you. Today, um, Caroline, we're doing a um, bridal look. Just mm -hmm. really simple, fun, flirty, very girly. I like it. Um, and fresh. Yes. So. Very, very beautiful, simple, yet very, very natural. So it's yeah. great for a photo, great for, for our video sounds. He did an amazing job. Thank great. you. I like how you contour, I like the, the uh, crease, and um, how you did the eyebrows, everything. Thank you. Yes, perfect. And the lashes as well. So there you have it. for Rain Cosmetics, I get the privilege to play with these amazing colors and all their Rain Cosmetic products. Spring is all about bright and pastel colors and here are my top picks. I like this baby pink color blush called Peep Show. It gives you that glowing blush face. For the eyes, I like to use this quad called The Strip. It has the bronzy chocolate brown eye colors. It's great for all eye colors and eye shapes. Lastly, for the lips, I like to use Stretch Limo. This is great for all different eye makeup looks and it's great for all skin tones. And this is one of their best selling products. To get a hold of one of these products, please visit their website at www.raincosmetics.com. And don't forget to add Vera20 to get 20% off your first order. Switch to DirecTV and find out how to say goodbye to messy cable wires and boxes. America's number one satellite television provider is the undisputed leader in sports with the most full-time HD channels anywhere. Get DirecTV today and receive a free Genie upgrade. One HD DVR powers your whole home. There's no equipment to buy and no startup costs. Package offers start at just $24.99. There's never been a better time to upgrade your television experience. Call your authorized DirecTV dealer today.
Good day, everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of Immigration Matters with Fisher Calderon, only here at Home Sweet Home. This week, we will answer an email sent to me by John, who wants to file a petition for his son, whom he had not seen for almost 20 years. He asks, I'm now a naturalized United States citizen. I have a son who is now 20 years old, and I have not seen him since he was one year old. His mother and I are not married. Can I petition for my son to come to the United States? This is a very common scenario that I have seen among my clients, and I can tell you that given the right evidence, John can file a petition for his son, despite the son's illegitimacy and the fact that they have not seen each other for 20 years. This is what we call out-of-wedlock cases, and here, it's very important to show that aside from the fact that this is John's biological child, a bona fide parent-child relationship existed between the father and his child before the child reached 21 years of age, despite his son's illegitimacy. So, if John is supporting his child financially, we can show money remittances or financial support to the child, show that John, as the petitioner, continued to support his son by paying for his education, housing, food, and other basic needs. If John acknowledged the child's paternity and his name appears in his child's birth certificate, baptismal records, school records, these are good evidence as well, and I'd like to see that. If he regularly communicates with his son or even the mother regarding his child's welfare through phone calls, Skype, Facebook, chats, emails, snail mails, Let's give the government copies of these proofs of communication as well. Maybe he calls his son to ask him about what's going on in his life, disciplines him when necessary, and exercises parental care and concern for his son. The government would want to see that. If there were pictures when John and his son lived together, as well as pictures that they exchanged through the years, let's show those as well. In short, we need to prove that despite the illegitimacy, the father continued to do what a parent should do and showed parental concern for his son. The process requires filing a petition for his son and going through an immigrant visa application process and an interview at the U.S. Embassy abroad. Nowadays, it's taking approximately six to eight months to complete the entire process. You have to note also that in some instances, the government may also want a DNA test done on John and his child to prove paternity in that case, we just have to comply with it. Thank you very much for your question, John. If you have immigration questions, feel free to send me an email at visha at vcalderonlaw.com or call our office at 702-932-7656. I'll do my very best to answer them right here on Immigration Matters with Visha Calderon. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Same time, same channel. Attorney Visha Calderon at your service. Hello fans, this is Irving Harrell, one of the proud owners of TC's world famous rib crib, here with you to bring you our dish of the week. This week we have our succulent, slow smoked for four and one half hours baby back ribs. Baste it in our own homemade sauce, 110 years generationally handed down from my wife's family into your mouth. We also have our hand cut coleslaw made with our homemade coleslaw dressing and our sweet potato french fries. We're at our new location expanded for you for the holiday season, graduation parties, weddings, birthday parties and the such at 3655 South Durango, right in between Twain and Spring Mountain on Durango. Our direct line is 702-451-RIBS, that's 702-451-7427. We're here for all of your catering needs, your dine-in needs, your takeout needs, and any type of party, graduation season's right around the corner for all you graduates. Feel free to come in, we can handle parties from five to 500. We look forward to feeding you soon, and thank you so very much for your time in business. The way to a person's heart is through the ribs. Coming up next is Gaming Today Sports Editorial.
episode of Vegas Live TV's Home Sweet Home, taped right here at the VA TV Studio and Event Center. For up-to-date news on local events, latest episodes, don't forget to visit our official webpage, VegasLiveTV.us, and like our page on Facebook. We'd like to thank our cast and crew. Special thanks to David Tupaz, Bill Bond, Simply Fairland. Thank you for making us look fantastic each and every episode. And today our hair and makeup artist is Christina Jacobs. And also before I go, I'd like to give a plug to this beautiful, elegant and professional looking outfit by yes. David Tupas. For more information, don't forget to check out his atelier for his new spring collection. That's right. And on behalf of Vegas Life TV, we wish to thank you for watching. Until next time, have a blessed week everyone. Bye. Bye. This has been a presentation of VATV.